Hello, Facebook friends. Happy Wednesday. I am, um, I knew I was going to completely lose my train of thought. It's just the way it goes, and I'm sorry. There's a cat begging to get in here with me. I don't know why. I would just fuss at her if she was in here. So, um, give me just a sec. I'm going to make sure that I am, well, it doesn't want to show me. Um, Sorry, I thought I had that figured out. Yes, okay, looks like I'm live over there. Good. So, um, today I have, um, I don't think that we're going to make it all the way through this finished project. I think you're going to have to go over to my blog afterwards to see how these come together because I wanted to show you four different ways to create kind of a oceanfront scene. And I've been playing before we started, and I'm just going to go ahead and switch the cameras down and, um, well, yeah, switch to the down camera, this camera, um, right? Maybe not. Okay. Computer says no, go this way. Okay. That looks better. All right. So what do I have? I have four different ways that we can work with. Oh my gosh, it was all here just a second ago. Is this ocean front stamp set? This is in the mini catalog and it is on it was on page 39. And now you'll notice that the stamp set doesn't have any greetings and it doesn't have it's not part of a bundle. But you can see that in the in the examples they've shown you some other some other options. Um, love this greeting set and I meant to grab it and forgot. Um, this are the, these are the dies that go with, okay, I heard a comment. Let me see if I can figure out how to make it show. Hi, Denise. Um, okay, the ocean front. Sorry, I got the on the horizon dies. So these work so well together. And so when we worked with these, I talked about the ocean front and how I wanted to work with them as well. So we're gonna create some scenes. I wanna show you different ways because there's so many different ways to do things that you kinda of need to figure out what your favorite is, what works best for you. And even then, what works best for you is gonna change. Um, it might be best for today, but the next project you're working on might be different. So let's talk about all these different options that you have. You can work with basic white cardstock and the stamp. You can work with shimmer white and the stamp set. Or you can work with watercolor paper, this Fluid 100. And we're going to work with all three of these today. And then we're going to mix it up even more by talking about water painters and a spritzer and some other ways that you can mix these up. And that's why I don't think we're gonna to get to a finished project because I really wanna show you how different ways to build up that base, that foundation for your scene. So I've already got everything on blocks and I'm gonna pull out these sample, well, should I do that? No, I'm gonna wait on that, sorry. Let me, let me shuffle that a little bit. Um, now before I get too far into this and completely forget my place, I wanna remind you of a couple of things. We are coming up fast on the deadline for registering for the February Card Club, and that is featuring the flowering tulips. And these are four of the five designs that we're going to make in that class. This class comes with a goodie bag, and this time this goodie bag is worth about $23. Um, class costs 30 and it's a subscription too so you can subscribe and get the class automatically ready for you each month you can come in person it can be mailed to you um, or you can just take the class a la carte you know when a particular set of cards catches your fancy but if you do the subscription and you happen to stick around then you're gonna get some extra perks um, so at the very minimum, you're going to get a $25 bonus pack of a surprise product at the end of six months. 
but you might get some other goodies along the way. There's nothing to lose by starting out with a subscription because you may think that you're not going to stay around and do the one at a time, but then find yourself six months in and wishing that you had just done the subscription initially. Um, okay, the next week, okay, let me try that again. Monday, in my YouTube Live, I showed you a card using the new Natural Tones um, blends, and I told you that, that we would have more today. These are the samples for the card class. It's a virtual card class that is held next week on this um, Facebook page, and it's absolutely free. Um, if you want this kit and you're a customer, you can get this free with a qualifying order using the host code, um, or you can, um, if you're a member of my team, then you get this really discounted for $10. So, all right. Now I've got that out of the way. I've cleared up a little bit more space on my table. Awesome. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with um, Basic White. Um, Basic White does not do well with, uh, does not play well with water. So we're pretty careful when we are working with Basic White to not introduce that really um, anything saturated with water. And actually we're going to Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna get too far off. Um, I'm gonna work with three colors primarily. Balmy Blue for our sky, Pool Party for our ocean, and Crumb Cake for the, the beach, right? And then we're gonna work with, okay, I have two of these over here, I don't need that. Let's free up a little more space where I can. So we're gonna stack these stamp sets. So this is our sky, this is our ocean and this is our beach. And then we have all of these other pieces that we can add on after our cardstock is dry because most of these are going to be wet. Um, and and I need to grab, where did my, oh, I thought I was so ready. Okay. I had a piece of just copy paper over here. Um, and uh, that was a good thing because it was going to let me, here it is. Okay. So I want to stamp off on this one, this first one. All right. So let's just jump in. So this is balmy blue. This is our sky. Try and keep my head out of the way. And actually, since we work with these one at a time, I'm going to go ahead and put that out of the way. And then I'm going to stamp off and then stamp down. Oh, look at that bubble I got there. Okay, so can you see? Why did I get that bubble? Well, it's probably a bubble that's sitting back here. I don't have the, it's hard to get your stamp set, your stamps sometimes to sit completely without air in between. So that's probably one reason that that happened. The way that you can help that not be a problem is by putting a mat underneath your surface. Right, so I'm gonna turn my cardstock over. See, kind of the great thing about doing Facebook Live like this and keeping it real is that you have an opportunity to see, um, you know, I just shared an extra tip that I didn't know I was gonna share. So I've now put the paper piercing mat underneath or on, yeah, on top of my stamp surface. And that gives me a little cushion because these photopolymer stamps, remember, they really don't have the cushion. The red rubber ones do. Okay, so that's, that's the balmy blue. And you can see if I had done that full strength, how strong that would be. And I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm going to show you, show you one where I did use it full strength. Then coming in with pool party. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this one full strength. Press into my mat. If you have any trouble, well, there will be a supply list when this makes it to my blog. Um, so you'll you can get the um, 
you can actually add them all to your cart and it's actually easier if you add everything to your cart then it's pretty easy to edit from that point um, but I'm going to include links for all of these products I'm working with today and you may not want to try all the methods so you may want to selectively edit okay so isn't that pretty all right so that's basic white with the um, stamped off in balmy blue full strength pool party and then crumb cake for the edge and I'm gonna just I've already put post-it notes on the ones that I've played with earlier so I'm gonna add that to the stack and set it over there all right I'm gonna wash clean up my stamps and move on to the next item which is the shimmery white. And the shimmery white is not such a bright white as basic white and it has some shimmer built in so it's really fun to work with um, and you can add you can work with your blender blender pins remember blender pins are kind of like they come in a set of three and they're clear markers they're markers that have a liquid but they don't have a color so you can blend with them, hence the name blender pen, right? Um, sometimes I'm really Captain Obvious there. All right, for the next piece, so I'm gonna pull out a piece of shimmer white, which let me show you the difference. So this one is basic white. This one is shimmer white. So you can probably tell better down here. So this is the shimmer white. It's a little less, little less stark. Um, and then the basic white, to the left. Now, I don't think there's any, well, can you, is it going to pick up any of the shimmer? Of course not, because I want it to, right? But it does have some little flecks of shimmer in there, making it really fun to play with. And for the shimmer white, actually, let's do two things. The first time, I'm going to stamp it just like I did the basic white, just, and you'll just get a sense of the, maybe the different colors. And then the next time, I'm going to show you a different technique that I like to do with Shimmer White and some of these landscape or these watercolor-ish stamps. Um, and I learned that when we had the stamp set called Waterfront. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful stamp. All right. So now Pool Party. For the ocean. So what if you have found me on Facebook but you don't know how to find my blog or anything else? Um, over there in this, okay well over here, now it's on, dang it's right there. <laughs> oh that's kind of fun. Um, that is a link to my website and to my blog, and you can find all kinds of information there about me, about my team, about the projects I've done, my schedule. Um, it is a wealth of information. It is not perfect. Okay, Sometimes done is better than perfect, and that is the case with my website. All right, so now you can compare if I knew what I had done with it. So see, this is a little softer on this shimmer white than not wrong, not right, just a little different. Okay, and I don't have a post-it note for that one because I wasn't planning to do that. All right, let's clean these again. Although I'm doing the same thing over and over. I think I'm cleaning them just in an attempt to keep my hands clean. All right. Um, Denise, seems like I had sent you a message that I needed your address to send you something. And um, please do that if you... Um, if you have a chance. Okay, the next piece of shimmer white, we are going to 
introduce a little blending with the water painters. Okay, so, um, and you could get another way is to spritz your stamp after you've done this. Oh my gosh, I thought I had come up with a pretty good uh, selection of options, but I, um, I forgot a few. Sorry about that. All right, so I am still going to stamp off for this. Um, I need to keep a paper towel handy for the next few pieces that we're going to do. So let me just put that here. Paper towel and wipes, right? They're everybody's, every stamper's best friend. All right, that's my stamp off now. All right, so I just want to be able to work quickly. And sometimes, so these water painters have water in the barrel, and, and then they have these push, so you can push and get the water out. Sometimes it is faster for me just to dip it in a little shot glass of water that I keep nearby. Um, if I want to wa work quickly, then that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this off. Stamp this down, and then I'm going to be quickly grab my water painter, grab a little water. That looks like I stamped it off too much. And did I use pool part? I did. Okay, we have two problems there. I used the wrong color, and okay, maybe that's just one problem. See, that's a good thing that I did clean off my stamp. So there's the lesson. I, I used the wrong ink, and so thank goodness I had cleaned off my stamp, so I didn't didn't cross pollinate my inks, so to speak. All right, so because I added some water to that, I'm just gonna set it aside completely and grab a new piece of shimmer white. Okay, confirming balmy blue is open. It's funny, I didn't notice that when I stamped off. Okay, here we go. And let that set for just a second. Come back, grab some water, and then I am just kind of um, blending the little pixels in the stamp. I don't know if pixel is the right word, but I've just softened it a little bit. All right. Now, there are times when you are doing this and mixing colors that you may need to wait between colors to let your ink, your paper dry. I think I'm okay with what I'm doing here because we do kind of want them to, to blend together a little bit. All right, so now pool party is open. Make sure my brush is clean by just dabbing it on my paper towel. Um, so these water painters come in a set of three, and that's all you need. And the only reason you have three is because they're different brush ends. And then again, I'm just going to come in. Shimmer paper can, it's not, uh, can't handle as much water as water paper, the watercolor paper can, but it can handle enough to do what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of blending and softening. I'll clean that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and clean this one though. And close that one up. Now, you all may think that I could move faster if I just left my inks open. Well, you can imagine what that would do. Okay, come down like this, stamp this one down. And then I've just softened that. Okay, that will dry pretty quickly. Uh, and when it's dry, we'll compare it to, well, I can kind of compare it now. So it's a super subtle difference, right? Um, that, yeah, I've truly just, like I've just softened out some of the accents here. But the shape, everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, you guys will help me remember there. Now, 
For the next one, we're gonna work with this watercolor paper. And we're gonna get this paper really wet. And there are a couple of different ways that I like to do that. Clean my stamps. I really am gonna to switch to a new chamois. Talk about new beginnings, right? A new chamois, new, new box of crayons, all these things now. Um, I'm also gonna bring in my silicone mat only because that will help me pick up this very wet piece of paper after I'm finished. So I am gonna cut, cut this in half. And we're gonna do two different things here. So this is, what is it, five by seven. So I'm just gonna cut this at three and a half. Okay, so for the first one, I'm gonna get my paper wet. I'm still gonna use my stamps. Um, and I like to do kind of a combination method here. If I spritz this, I'm gonna get water everywhere, but I'll show you how nicely gentle that our spritzer is. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I have learned how, how to control this. Um, when you're working with watercolor paper, it is going to bow like this. So you may want to um, you may want to tape it down first, right? So that it doesn't curl up like that for you. Now I've got a lot of a lot of water on here. I may just want to even pick up some from the edge so that it doesn't run completely off. When you're working with your watercolor paper like this, you do want to keep it wet and sometimes you need to even wet it in between. Now, just for giggles, let's not stamp off this time. Living on the edge, the edge of what, I don't know. But can you see it already just spreading out? That's the beauty of watercolor. Now, I can move this around because my paper is really wet. I can take a brush to it. I can spritz it again. Um, I'm just gonna leave it just like that so you get a sense of, of what that is, does. Um, grab the pool party and I can see that my paper is drying out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, add a little more water. Bring in the pool party. And you can let this dry naturally. You can bring in a heat tool and move the water around. There's so many, so many things that you can that you can do. Um, your imagination is the only limit you have. Now I'm just trying to decide if I think that my, my paper is still wet enough for me to put my crumb cake down. So I'm gonna do that. And then, isn't that gorgeous? So we'll just let that move around for a second and then we'll swap out. And the next one, we're not gonna use the stamps at all. We're just gonna use the colors and the water painters and create a watercolor wash background. So many, so many ways to do this. All right, now, like I said, this, by putting it on a silicone mat, it just gives me an opportunity to kind of pick it up and transfer it. However, I need it to dry, so I'm going to even, well, there's no sense in drying this though. I'm going to bring it right back. I'm going to grab the other half of that watercolor paper. And again, okay, let me get my stamps out of the way. Because what I want to do is actually 
uh, this is my preferred method. Um, but just like everything else, there are lots of ways you could do this. All right, I'm going to take the balmy blue and pick up some ink on my block. Can you see? I'll close that. And then hopefully by putting these in order, <laughs> I won't cross them up. There's no guarantee. There is some, whoops, some pool party. And then crumb cake. All right. And I'm going to add a little water on each one. And I'm just dropping that on there and not mixing it yet. And I will go ahead and see if I can spritz my paper. Get it really wet. But again, I might want to take some off the ends. And let's see. I think this is still the brush I want to work with. I'm going to start with the balmy blue and just wash on a sky. And with watercoloring, you can just keep adding color. Let it dry, add more color. Um, again, <laughs> your only limit is your imagination and I suppose however much paper you might have. Oh, dang. See, I can't even be trusted. I don't know if y'all saw what I did, but I totally dipped my brush in the balmy blue instead of the pool party. And I just want to add I can tell my paper is trying to get dry. So I'm going to down a little bit to look at that and then I'm going to pick up the crumb cake and if you notice on this stamp it kind of had this darker part where it met and then it was lighter coming out so I can do that just by picking up a little more intense color So, another gorgeous background. So, pretty cool. Yes? I think so. Um, oh my gosh, and my, this one is just running all over. <laughs> so, I might have been needed to pay attention to that a little bit, but, okay, this isn't quite dry, but I'll show you some options for working with it. We bring in the gate and we add some of these stamps. That is totally going to be just fine that it ran away. Now it's not going to dry enough for me to work with right now so I'm going to pull in some of the ones that I've already done. Um, although I do kind of need to lay these out in an order that I can remember. So that was with the stamps. Ah. This one is not, and I think I can tell that. And then let's look at, all right, so here is the shimmery white that we blended. Here is the shimmery white that we just stamped. Here is the basic white that we just stamped. So, and these are all dry enough to work with. This is um, on basic white where I did not stamp off. And I think this is actually Coastal Cabana and not Pool Party. Yeah, and this was Balmy Blue stepped off, stamped off, and Coastal Cabana stamped off. And the crumb cake stamp the wrong direction. Just keeping it honest. Now, <laughs> if only I knew what I had done with the others I've already made this morning. So 
Sometimes the struggle is beyond real. Oh, here they are. Over here on my right. Okay, no need to panic. Right? Okay, so it's kind of funny. It's hard to. Okay, so this one, um, this one is the watercolor wash. Um, just wet the paper, a wet brush, no stamping on this one. Okay, so that is this one after it's dry. It's pretty dry. And then this one was, I wet the paper and then I stamped. So that's the watercolor paper. Um, then you've already seen the shimmer white, shimmer white where I stamped it and then I blended. So that and that and this one are the same. This is shimmer white, um, just stamped. And this is basic white, just stamped. Okay, so one of these is still wet. Um, what's, how much, what's our time looking like? Okay, so we've been on for 31 minutes. All right, so some of the options for adding in would be to, oh, let me clean this up. And we may, I don't know what we might do. There's no way we're going to have time to really mess with these very much. Let me just make a total mess over here. Okay. Figure out where I'm going. Okay. So but what I did was I pulled out this little kind of a splatter looking stamp. And this is basic white to stamp. And here is this, which you might add here. Here's even one that you could make a little more pronounced and a smaller one. So lots of little fun filler stamps to play with. And I brought soft suede out as well as crumb cake. And I just cut out these little gates with some um, in good taste designer series paper. So you can add, add these. And then I think you need to add the birds from here. So this is on the horizon. Oh my gosh. Um, and you might even add them in maybe Misty Moonlight. Let me grab that. Okay, so here's some birds. There's great debate on which way these little guys are to fly. And I like them all. So I'm going to put them right about there. And then I think let's add in crumb cake. Oh my gosh, I dripped a bit of water on that. So again, just adding a little texture here. And then I think in soft sweat, and then there are die cuts in a different, in the, some different stamp sets that would even add a bit more. I'm gonna bring in some soft suede. And add this just kind of right here. And then this goes this way. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at the placement of that. I think there and there. Um, and then the pebbles. Do we like this dark or do we like it light? So play a little bit of this 
for that. It really helps me to look at the screen when I'm doing this. Isn't that crazy? And this piece is um, five and a half by four and a quarter, so it's going to have to be cut down before I go too far. But like I said, we don't have time today to get to that. There's only so long anybody should have to listen to me. And I may not want to place this until I decide how how big of a a piece it's going to be. And maybe it doesn't even need this. Maybe you just add a little bit of pebbles and some greeting at that point. Because you could even stamp here or you could overlay your greeting here. Um, if you just brought this over there. I think this is really pretty. So I like the I like the idea of the fence. Just not sure which one I like. And I'm determined to put those backwards on here. Kind of here. I think kind of down low so that it doesn't take it away. What do y'all think? So that's one idea. Then this is, okay, this is shimmer white where we've blended it. So I want to kind of do the same thing to each one of these whatever that works out to be, so that we're comparing the backgrounds and not so much what we did with it. Yeah, it's it's very it's very cool. Now I gotta tell you, I'm not loving well, okay, this has turned out pretty cool. This is a really light wash. You could do lots of things with it. Um, this one is is running away. And um, that is actually the one that we stamped um, on the watercolor paper that was super wet. So maybe it needs less water. Um, but look at how, it, look, I like the, the, the lines here that we're seeing. So what we may end up with is, um, hello, Joyce, good to see you. Um, so what we may end up with are a bunch of different cards because because I want to do the same thing to every background, you know, if inspiration hits, oh, and I forgot this already. Um, oh, and that's not soft suede that I want to use on that. It's crumb cake. See? Uh, I tried to give myself notes on post-it notes, but that didn't work so well, did it? so funny. All right, I've done that. Just a little bit. Okay, then the soft suede over here. So we may end up with a bunch of, of cards because, you know, if inspiration hits and we have to do this a different way, well then I'm going to have to make a bunch more. Um, okay, this is the same as that one. Where is... This is a basic white. I've already stamped on basic white. Okay, let's do let's do this one because this is where this is the first one that I did before we got on camera. All right, so let's add some birds. That was first. And they're probably going to be on here a different way for each one because that's just way. I really don't think there's a right or a wrong way. I think that they're they're fine either way. All right, next was crumb cake. And the little speckles. Right. And then soft suede. Look at how the colors blurred in here. That's really pretty. But you know, when you're watercoloring like this, you could come back and add some purple. Um, just really add however much depth you want to. So many options. And that's really what I wanted to show you today is, you know, just just try things. Look how just that little bit added so much. 
Okay, let's see if this is, I think this is dry enough. This is the one that I just um, created without the stamps, just gave it a watercolor wash. Some birds and the, that's not the one that we did together because that one is still wet and I just put my thumb right in that and wipes would be a good thing to keep on hand Robin wants you all to know that he is here on security detail but if he's barking at the motorcycle guy he's a little running behind there all right and this is soft suede that I'm coming in to add these little beachy grass things I, I don't know. I hope you guys really like them. I really like them, and I like each of them. They're they're very different, you know, little different techniques here, different papers. Um, and I've just left the fence on that one so you can kind of see. And see, that's got that big water splotch. So that one I'm going to have to trim down a little bit, but. Um, Okay, let me shift these around so they can be side by side. All right, so actually this is basic white. This is shimmer white blended. This is watercolor paper stamped. And this is the watercolor wash, right? Yep, no stamping on that at all. So, so many different things. I'd love to know what you think and be sure and show me what you try. So thanks so much for being with me today. Um, I hope that you will be back soon. Um, this will be posted to the blog with all the, the, with all the supplies given and a few, a few instructions, reminders on what we did on which one. Um, and... It's tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the February Card Club featuring the flowering tulips. I'd love to have you join either in person or to go. You can subscribe and uh, get that delivered to you each month. Um, or you can decide just to take whichever ones that you like. Once you see the sneak peeks, you've got time to make that decision. And then next week is the virtual card class right here at 11 o'clock um, next Thursday. So everybody have a fabulous day. It's nice and sunny here. I think I might take the convertible out. I don't think it's warm enough even with the heat on to put the top down, but it'll still feel good just being out in the daylight, in the sunlight. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.